The A7E Corsair II jet attack aircraft here behind me is one of the very first things visitors see when they first get to the USS Kidd. But why is it here and what's its significance? We're going to talk about just that next on Behind the Scenes. The Ling Temco Vought A7 Corsair II is a subsonic light attack aircraft which was used to carry out close air support strikes with greater precision than high altitude bombers. It was designed to be a replacement for the immensely successful Douglas A4 Skyhawk. While it did not bring any significant increase in speed over its predecessor, the A7 boasted a greater range and almost doubled the ordnance payload. A total of six main variants of the A7 design were built, A through E, plus a two-seater K variant, as well as a couple of two-seater versions of the C variant used by the Navy for electronic countermeasures work. All versions were used by the Navy except for the D and K variants, which were developed for the Air Force and Air National Guard. Two D variants were modified as prototypes for a transonic F variant, but these were never put into production. Other versions of the design were developed for the Hellenic and Portuguese Air Forces. The A-7's maiden flight took place on September 27, 1965, with the 1st Naval Squadron receiving their aircraft in June 1967. A total of 1,545 aircraft were built between 1965 and 1984. The A-7 flew combat missions in Vietnam Grenada, Lebanon, Libya, Panama, Iraq, and Kuwait. They were retired from the U.S. Armed Forces in 1991 and sold to the nations of Greece, Portugal, and Thailand. The last A-7P in the Portuguese Air Force retired in 2007, marking the end of a 49-year career for the Corsair II. The idea for adding a second aircraft to the USS Kidd Veterans Museum's collection was raised in the early 1990s. After originally seeking an F-4 Phantom, an A-7E Corsair II was found to be available for loan through the National Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. Aircraft number 160724 was located at Naval Air Station Memphis in Millington, Tennessee. In March 1993, a team of museum staff and volunteers towed the aircraft from its stored site at the Naval Air Station down U.S. Highway 51 to a gravel pit 15 miles away on the Mississippi River. Baton Rouge-based McKinney Towing then lifted the aircraft aboard one of their crane barges for the 512-mile trip downriver to Baton Rouge. At the end of its river cruise, the Corsair went airborne once more as she was lifted ashore at McKinney's shipyard, located just over a mile downriver from the USS Kidd. Members of Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 488 and other local volunteers began the year-long process of restoration. Bombs and drop tanks were located and shipped to Baton Rouge. Two Sidewinder missile replicas were fabricated out of wood. As the Corsair was planned to be the centerpiece of a Vietnam Veterans Memorial here at the Kid, it was decided to paint the aircraft in the colors and markings of VA-147, nicknamed the Argonauts. VA-147 was the first strike squadron to fly A-7s in combat in Vietnam in December 1967, flying from the aircraft carrier USS Ranger, CV-61. The pilot and two of the maintenance crew names were chosen to represent three service members who were a ground casualty, missing in action, and a prisoner of war. Colonel Murphy Neal Jones, U.S. Air Force, of Baton Rouge was selected to represent Louisiana's POWs, having spent six and a half years as a POW in Vietnam, much of his time spent at the infamous Hoa Lo Prison in Hanoi, also known as the Hanoi Hilton. Data Systems Technician 3rd Class Kevin L. Terrell of Baton Rouge was selected to represent the state's MIAs. 
Carol was a passenger aboard a Grumman C-2 Greyhound aircraft that crashed in the Gulf of Tonkin on approach to USS Constellation on October 2, 1969. His body was never recovered. Builder constructionman Daniel J. Noble of Baton Rouge was selected to represent ground casualties. Noble was a CB with the 22nd Naval Mobile Construction Battalion and died through non-hostile means asphyxiating during a USO show at Marble Mountain Airfield in Quang Nam Province on October 18, 1968. Daniel was aged 19. Another factor that may have weighed in on the museum's choice to display a Corsair was the presence of three fighter squadrons at England Air Force Base in nearby Alexandria, Louisiana. These were the 74th, 75th, and 76th fighter squadrons of the 23rd Fighter Wing, nicknamed respectively the Flying Tigers, the Tiger Sharks, and the Vanguards. These squadrons moved to Louisiana in July 1972 and began flying A-7Ds until transitioning to the A-10 Thunderbolt II in the summer of 1981. In 1973, the 74th was deployed with their A-7Ds to Karat Royal Thai Air Force Base in Thailand. There, they supported the air war activities ongoing in Cambodia against the North Vietnamese Army and the Viet Cong, who were infiltrating across the border into South Vietnam. The 74th also flew missions against the communist Khmer Rouge insurgents engaged in a civil war against the government of Cambodia. In 1992, all three squadrons were reassigned and departed Louisiana. With the paint scheme and squadron representation set and the restoration underway, the pedestal for mounting the aircraft began construction with the aid of local contractors and a nearby CB battalion. With restoration and construction completed, the A-7E was covered in a tarp and towed from McKinney's yards to the museum and mounted on its pedestal. The aircraft and memorial were dedicated to Louisiana's Vietnam veterans on Memorial Day weekend, May 28, 1994. Over the next 20 years, members of VVA 488 worked in tandem with museum staff to maintain the Corsair. In 2014 and 2015, the museum conducted a second restoration of the aircraft, refreshing her paint job and checking for any damage or deterioration. In 2019, Naval History and Heritage Command sent a civilian task force to Baton Rouge to inspect all aircraft in the city that are on loan from the Navy. The kids' Corsair, nicknamed Corey on the museum's social media feeds, received exemplary marks from the inspection team. The A7E on display here at the KID is displayed with an armament consisting of one 20mm M61A1 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon and two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles for air-to-air -air combat. She also carries 18 Mark 82 low-drag general-purpose bombs for ground strikes. Two drop tanks give her longer legs. She has a range of 980 miles with a full bomb load. Her maximum takeoff weight with this sort of loadout would be just shy of 42,000 pounds, with a maximum speed of 693 miles per hour at sea level. This particular aircraft, Bureau Number 160724, was first accepted by the Navy on September 17, 1978. She was assigned to Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 5, also known as Air Tevron 5 or just VX 5 or by their nickname, the Vampires. Her final flight occurred in December 1990, with a total of 3,706 flight hours in her career. She never saw combat, but her role in VX-5 saw her testing new systems and technologies that would later be installed on her sisters serving out in the fleet. VX-5 during these years was based out of Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake in California although they did have temporary detachments at locations all over the United States. Corey's records also show 151 carrier landings and 132 catapult launches, indicating that she likely briefly embarked from time to time on a carrier to test various systems. Well, that's it for this episode of Behind the Scenes. I hope you enjoyed this retrospective on the A7E Corsair II. USS Kidd is a nonprofit organization that receives no regular state or federal funding to book your next overnight adventure, your next field trip, or to access our teacher resources. Click on the links down below. And remember, 
to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.